I'm working with an automotive alloy wheel in a Libre version 28. And as you can see, I have a lot of configurations. This is configured to change in number of spokes, width, diameter, all ways that it can fit on multiple vehicles. But it might be tedious to make a drawing of each and every one of these configurations. But I think it's simple work when we use the tools available in version 28. I'll save and make a drawing. I'll use my ANSI default template. From here, I will reorient the wheel and let's go with only the front view for now. Once the view is created, I can even add in a dimension to show the outer envelope. And then I would do that over and over again for every single configuration, except V28 makes it a lot easier. I'll go to my sheets and I'll right click on my new sheet and duplicate. And from here, I have two duplicate sheets of the exact same thing. And under my view, I can open my configurations and reproject using whichever configuration I would like. And there you can see that I have a new wheel with a new outer diameter because we're using a different configuration. Six spoke versus five spoke. And just like that, we can make a lot of standard drawings for every configuration that we have. And this works across views that are dimensioned and multiple. I'll simply create a duplicate sheet. And then in one view, I'll reproject using this configuration and the other view updates automatically. So when you have parent and child views such as these, you can update all of them automatically and the dimensions follow. This is just one of many possible use cases for using duplicate sheets. We can't wait to see how you're going to use these new tools. Thanks for watching.